Hey fam, thank you so much for coming back to I Love Me Me Me. So, I did a video a few days ago. I think it's been about a week since it's been released at this point in time. And that video was why it's important for you to love yourself ideally before you enter into a relationship. And a viewer in there, or my subscriber I should say, actually asked me to answer a follow-up question. And that question is, how do you know when you really reach that point of you truly loving yourself? I have multiple points. Is this the catch-all be-all end-all list? Of course not, but we're going to jump in right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for returning and um, to answer the question. But before I answer that question, I want to say that if you are new to my channel, if this is your very first time here, if you have been here for several times, but you have yet to check out my online courses, let me just be the first to tell you a little bit about them. So my first course is for my super single people out there. You are just you kind of fed up with dating for a period of time, or you were, I should say, and now you're ready to jump back in, but you know that you need to work on some things before you actually jump in to the dating stages, this course is absolutely for you. It's going to help you to work on yourself, understand who you are, what you need, what you want, and what you desire, not only from um, your potential partner, but you first, right? Which is why you need to love yourself first. That course is going to help you out with that. The link is down in the description box below. The second course is for those of you guys who are actually in the dating stages, but you need help navigating through the dating stages. You are sick and tired of just dating in the hopes that everything is going to fall into place. You need some clarity about this dating thing. You actually need a step-by-step -step plan and help you to reach the best dating person that you can be and also to just block, 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 and weed out all of those guys just to get them out of the way. That course is absolutely going to help you out. And then for my third courses for you guys who've been in long-term relationships or marriages and you need some help with picking back up the spice in your relationship so you can truly connect back with your partner bring back some of those happy-go-lucky butterflies in your stomach where you are actually missing them when they're gone and you're happy to see them when they get back that course is going to help you reignite the flame okay in your relationship so definitely go ahead check out all three of my courses again they all give you step-by-step -step plans in order to depending on where you are, right? It depends on where you are, where that particular online course is going to help you through those. So go ahead, look in the description box below, click on the perspective link, support the movement so we can start to and continue to decrease that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. So without further ado, let's jump in. So the first point is when you actually surround yourself with people who actually support and care for you like truly support and care for you they got your back when you're going through things and they got your back when you're trying to attain a goal they're not putting you down they're not putting you down about trying to attain that goal they truly are happy for you they truly are rooting for you and they're probably shouting it from the mountaintops just as much as you are because they support you that much they care about you that much and they want to see you to succeed this is also where you have more than likely filter out your inner circle so you can only be surrounded by those people that are supporting, supportive of you, are very encouraging of you, and they definitely um, got your back. You know that you are truly loving yourself when you start to make your health and yourself a priority. Absolutely very important. Just, you got to do it. You, you just got to do it. I'm not saying that you have to be like a runway model, but... If you are feeling good in the clothes that you put on instead of wanting to put them on, go out, but you're hiding in the corner. And at this point, now you're like, this is where I'm at. It don't matter your size. This is where I'm at. This is what I'm working with. And I'm going to work every piece of flesh on my body. I don't care what nobody got to say. That's when you know that you are loving yourself. The third way to know that you are definitely loving yourself is when you have stopped comparing yourself to others and what they have, what type of relationship they have, what you don't have, how you need to do X, Y, and Z in order to get to that next status. You are working on you, and if you're not happy with yourself, you're still not comparing yourself to the next person where they are. You're just trying to do better in what you can do better with, not you trying to keep up with somebody else. 
So you, you are over the comparison stage. That's when you know that you are loving yourself. The fourth way to know that you are now loving yourself is that the negative voices in your head that used to demean you are now positive affirmations. You are basically over all of this negativity, like take it over. I'm not saying that the negativity is never going to come because it is, but you get over it a lot faster. You can move on. And at the end of the day, like I said, they have now by and large become positive affirmations. The fifth way to know that you are loving yourself is that you are now going after what you want. Doesn't matter what it is. If you say it, you are making a plan to go after said thing. And you're going to do it. The sixth way to know that you are loving yourself is that you actually enjoy spending time with you one on one. It doesn't have to be with anybody. It doesn't. I mean, seriously, I mean, not trying to knock the kids or the spouses or anything, but you don't even got to be around any of those people, let alone friends and other family members. And you just get you good. You is a L K. OK. Like you don't need to be outside of the house or you don't need to be surrounded by 50 million people in order to feel loved, in order to feel important, like you good by yourself. The seventh way to understand that you are loving yourself is that you are, are that you are a more grateful person and you are grateful by and large about any and everything, especially the small things. Like you're just grateful. You're just grateful, happy person and, and you're like, you know what, this has been brought into my life and I'm just so happy with what I got. The eighth way to understand that you are truly loving yourself is when you are truly happy for another person's achievement. Friend, family, co-worker, whoever it is. I mean, you like going hard in the paint and like, like I said, you're being their cheerleader and you're very, and you're very, very happy and truly happy for them with like no shade. Like as soon as they walk away, you know what I mean? Y'all know that shade that I'm talking about in their face. You're like, oh my God, yeah, girl. And then as soon as they get... She always get hit or she always or whatever it is or he all, you know, that haterade that you throwing. You truly know that you love yourself when you can seriously uh, give somebody an actual compliment and mean it. Cheerleader in their face as well as behind their back. The ninth way to know that you are truly loving yourself is that is when you know and believe that you deserve that great things are going to happen to you. Like they are. Just no no doubts in your mind. And if your doubts do come, they're here for a split second and then they are gone. You know the good things are going to happen for you, babe. The tenth way to know that you are loving yourself is when you really just like you over giving all of those people the chances that keep letting you down. They keep bringing in this negative energy. You just over it. You, are, you have moved on. And you have loved them from afar. Like they're not a part of your inner circle any longer. The 11th reason to know that you have truly started to love yourself is that when you can move on from a toxic relationship and not look back. I mean, you're not having any pity parties about what was me? Oh my God, how can that didn't work out? You, you, know, you, know, you know, you basically like, you know what? That didn't work out. It's all good. It wasn't meant to be. Let's move on to the next thing. Or at least, you know, let me reflect on why it didn't work out. Because obviously you was in that relationship. You thought it was, but it's toxic. And so you're like, you know what? I need to move on with life. But once you have moved on with life, you have done just that. And you have never thought about going back. And you haven't gone back. The 12th way to know that you have uh, started to truly love yourself is that when somebody tries to belittle you or your idea, you actually can defend it. And not feel guilty or feel like you have to justify what that thing is that they're trying to belittle you about. It's like, no, this is it. <laughs> really, really not trying to hear what you're talking about. This is what's going on with me. And if it don't work out for you, that's fine because it's not for you. I'm talking about for me. The 13th way that you know that you are loving yourself is that when you start to put things on your bucket list, but now you're starting to actually scratch them off because you are doing the things that you know that you want to do, that you love to do, that you like to do. you just marking them off. And it doesn't have to always be some type of grandiose vacation. It could be something small. Like you know that you um, are scared of snakes and you decided to go do X, Y, and Z because you wanted to make sure that you did that thing to scratch it off your bucket list. Or you wanted to go bungee jumping and do X, Y, and Z. Or you wanted to go hang gliding. Whatever it is on your bucket list, you have now started to cross those things off because now you're doing them. The 14th way to understand that you are truly loving yourself is that when you are doing 
many things that you are more passionate about. You're not just going through the day to day, um, the waking up, you know, going to the job, coming back home, maybe working out and sitting there watching TV. At some point, you are finding time to do the things that you are passionate about pretty much every single day, even if it's not a long or lengthy period of time that you're working on these things. But pretty much every day you are working on the things that you are passionate about outside of the day to day. The 15th way to know that you are loving yourself is you actually start to build the connections with those who inspire you because you're trying to get to the next level. They, you might feel like they are already there. And so now you're trying to get these connections with that person. So you too can be there. The 16th way to understand that you are truly loving yourself is that you can be real with yourself as well as everybody else around you. You don't have to pretend to be one way when you are in this person's face, another way when you are in this person's face. Everybody gets to see the real you. And you are not apologizing for being the real you. They either like you, love you, or they don't. And it's okay either way. The 17th way to understand that you are truly loving yourself is when you are able to apologize, say I'm sorry, mean it, and move on. Like, you know what? You're not going to get everything right. I understand that. Okay, I'm not going to get everything right. I messed up this time. Let me go say I'm sorry. You know, I'm really going to mean it. And then we're going to move on from say an issue because I got other things to do in my life. But I know when I'm wrong and I'm mature enough to say I was wrong. This is what was going on. Misunderstanding, whatever it is. Let's talk about it. Move through it. Move on from it. The 18th way to understand that you are truly loving yourself is that you do not take rejection personally. You truly understand that it is just a part of life. That's it. We're all going to be rejected at some point in our lives and it's usually going to be with a person that we are interested in. Maybe it's a career move that you did not get, but you just understand that it's a part of life and you can move on. The 19th way to know that you are truly loving yourself is that you can get over things a lot quicker and the small things just really don't bother you as much as they did before. It's like, eh, moving on. Other things to do. The 20th way to understand that you are truly loving yourself is when you know that your voice is important enough for you to be heard even when others do not agree with you. Amen to that because everybody's not going to agree with you and it's okay. That is also a part of life. You just cannot please everybody you will go crazy trying to do so it's impossible number 21 the way to understand that you truly love yourself is when you are able to make plans and not feel bad or worry about other people whether or not they're going to join you or not they are welcome to join you but if they do not that is not going to stop you from doing say it thing that you truly want to do you're just like okay they're not going to join me move on with life you do it Number 22, you become the voice of optimism to your friends and family. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I have to brag on myself a little bit because I've, I've been the voice of optimism to my friends and family for years. And not, not to say that they're not helping me, you know what I mean? Sometimes I get down in the dirt myself, but by and large, I'm always the happy-go-lucky, very optimistic. I am the person that's going to see the glass as, as half full versus half empty. I'm just saying like, Go out there and do it. Don't matter. Don't matter. Just go do it. Number 23, you smile so much more. Your life is so much more fulfilling. You are more passionate about things. You are attaining and reaching goals and career goals and just goals in general. Things that you've been wanting to do. Like I said, marking things off your bucket list. You know, becoming the voice of optimism. You just are smiling about life overall so much more. Number 24, I kind of mentioned this before, but I'm wording it a little bit different. It's basically that you are super happy and proud with the person that you are staring at in the mirror. Very proud of that person, looking back. You're giving yourself props and you are standing in your own and taking it all in. The 25th way to understand that you have truly loving yourself is when you are creating a phenomenal life and you going out there to get it ain't nothing stop you ain't nothing holding you back 
So family, these are the 25 ways to truly know that you are loving yourself. What did you think about them? I definitely want to know down in the comment section below. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, check out my online courses, depending on which perspective course that you need to sign up for. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I have been getting nothing but positive feedback about the courses. So I want you to help to support the movement. Keep all of my videos free for you guys here. And that is a way to do it. Just go ahead and support the movement. Definitely give me thumbs up. Of course, share the video with those who you know need to see it. And if this is your very first time here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. I will see you in the next video. Deuces.